So when taken correctly, the combined oral contraceptive pill, which we call COX for short in the medical world, is 99% effective at preventing pregnancy. So in this video, let me teach you about the different types, let me teach you how to start them properly and what to do if you miss a pill. Let's go. Okay, so let's dive straight into section number one. There are many different brands of the COX, okay? But there's three different types. So the first type is the monophasic 21 day pill type. This is probably the most common one. There's 21 pills in there. They all have the same amount of hormone in them. You take them for 21 days, consecutive days. Then you take a seven day pill free break and then you repeat the cycle again. Now we also have phasic 21 day pills. These usually have two or three sections of pills which are different colors usually and contain different amount of hormone in them so it's very important you follow the right order you take them every day for 21 days and then you take a seven day pill free break and then you repeat the cycle and lastly we have everyday ed pills these pills there's 21 active pills in there and seven inactive placebo pills in there as well you have to take them in the right order the two pills look different and basically you take them every day for 28 days and you don't take any break between each packet or pill strip. And moving on to section number two, how do you actually start a cox and when are you protected from pregnancy? First things first, you can start a cox at any point in your menstrual cycle. However, before you start the pill, always rule out pregnancy, so always check for pregnancy first. Secondly, there are special scenarios though for patients who have just had a baby, an abortion or a miscarriage as well when you're starting a COX, so speak to your healthcare professional about that if that applies to you. Now when starting the COX pill, some sources suggest that you get immediate protection if you start it from day one all the way up to day five of your period, okay? Now, this really does depend on your menstrual cycle length, so to play it safe, I always recommend my own patients to start on day one of your period. If you start on day one of your period, you will get immediate protection. So you don't need to use any additional contraception like a condom. However, if you start on day two, three, four or five of your period, this really depends on your menstrual cycle length, if you get immediate protection or not. So you will have to speak to your healthcare professional about this to get confirmation on it. And if you start your cox on any other day of your cycle, ensure that a condom is used until you've taken the pill for seven consecutive days. Now, if you're in the UK and you want more information or treatment options for a particular medical condition, then let me tell you about our sponsor, Dr. Fox. Dr. Fox is an online doctor and pharmacy ready to help with over 30 different medical conditions. And I would highly recommend visiting their website to learn more about their services. I will leave a link in the description below. Diving straight into section number three, a missed pill okay if you miss a pill or you start a pill pack late or anything like that it can affect how well the birth control is going to work at preventing pregnancy and this really depends on the following how many pills were missed remember for most cocks a missed pill is considered when it's been 24 hours or more since the time you were meant to take the pill However, please remember, this is general advice. There are a few brands where the timings are different. So always read the information leaflet for clear advice on this. Okay, so for this example, let's say you're on the pill, you started it properly, you are fully protected. You're not using any additional contraception like a condom, you are fully protected. Now let's say you missed one pill, okay? So you're just about to take today's pill and you suddenly realize, oh, I forgot yesterday's pill. Very easy, all you need to do is take yesterday's pill and today's pill. So you're gonna take two pills, completely fine to do. And in this scenario, you are fine to continue the pill as you normally do, so just continue taking one a day. You will remain protected, so you don't need any additional contraception like a condom. Easy as that. So next up, let's talk about blood testing because testing blood biomarkers like your ferritin, like your thyroid stimulating hormone levels are commonly done in practice to check for things like iron deficiency anemia or if you're feeling tired a lot. Now, if you're interested in testing your blood biomarkers, we've actually partnered up with Cyfox who've made it simple for everyone to do clinically accurate blood testing at home. They do testing on 17 different blood biomarkers and more if you want, so you can have a better understanding of your health. Here's how it works. You order the test you need, online. They post you out the kit, you take a blood sample, you post the kit back in the prepaid envelope, easy as that. Cyfox will then upload your blood results securely via their dashboard so you can review it with clear explanations to what they mean and best of all you can share your results with your medical provider too. And to learn more I will leave a link in the description below to Cyfox. Definitely do check them out and don't forget to use my code ATP10 for 10% off your first order. Cyfox, Thank you for being our trusted sponsor. Now for the next example, if you've missed two or more pills, so it's been 48 hours since the last 
pill you took, okay? So let's say, for example, today you're about to take a pill and you suddenly realize, I've missed two days of pills, okay? Here's what you need to do. You take today's pill and you take yesterday's pill. So you take two pills. You don't take three pills in this example. You still just take two, but you also then continue taking one a day as you would do normally. The only difference is this time is you are no longer protected, okay? So if you are gonna be having sex, you need to be using additional protection for the next seven days. So you need to use a condom for the next seven days at a minimum. And you may also need emergency contraception if you have had unprotected sex within the last seven days. So the most important thing is to speak to your healthcare professional about this. And with anything to do with contraception, the pill, what to do when you miss the pill, how to start it, always speak to your healthcare professional so they can give you tailored advice. Remember, any missteps can affect the effectiveness of your contraception pill, so speak to your healthcare professional. Sending awesome vibes.